And then there are, of course, unproductive ways of acquiring wealth. Um, a person comes and takes away either in full or partially what another person has originally appropriated. In that case, we have a winner and a loser. Um, and the Pareto criterion would not be fulfilled because we cannot make interpersonal comparisons of utility. If we could do this, of course, then the situation would be, would be different than uh, 20 utils accrue to me and, uh, and 50 utils are lost at somebody else and we say, oh, a net gain of 30 utils or something like this. Since we can't do that, so we can, all we can say is one person gains, the other person loses. This is not uh, a change that fulfills the Pareto criterion. Um, the same is true if somebody takes away what I have produced, uh, or either again the whole amount or part, part of it. Again, we have a loser and we have a winner. Pareto criterion is not fulfilled. Um, and finally, if, uh, if somebody does not rely exclusively on voluntary exchanges but uh, forces somebody to engage in the exchange, then again we have a winner and a loser and we cannot say this uh, change is, so to speak, a change that fulfills the Pareto criterion. Um, and by and large all societies can then be, uh, and the, if you look at the, the classes of actors that engage in uh, in non-productive exchanges, uh, we find by and large that there are two types. The first are the plain criminals. Everybody agrees that the plain criminals are plain criminals, uh, uh, that they obviously do not contribute anything to wealth but redistribute it in their own, uh, in their own favor. And then we have the second class of individuals uh, that compose, that compose a state which is an institutionalized form of uh, of taking away what productive people have done and uh, and, and and using it for uh, for their own uh, for their own purposes. Um, if we compare societies, then if we ignore for for a moment just the uh, the plain criminals that, that exist in any type of society, then we can, the main difference between different societies is made up by, this, by the institutional aggressor, uh, aggressors and by the f extent to which they interfere with the productive work of people who uh, enhance, uh, enhance welfare. And there we have um, yeah, uh, degrees. Uh, some societies, some states do more of that and some societies um, do less of that.